Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to create these uh, funky looking meshes here, you can see. Um, I said, for example, you can create a fence or something fence-like, or you can use them for like washing baskets or waste paper bins or whatever. Just something quick and uh, has many uses, you'll find. I'm sure you'll think of more. But let's get into it. Right, so first of all, uh, cylinder type ones, um, simply just add in a cylinder whatever details you want to do like they do 24 whatever you want you can play around with it um basically add a ton of loop cuts that kind of looks nice just on seven there do whatever you want really um go on to ed <coughs> edge and subdivide change this number down here to one if you've already got this pattern and simply slap on a wireframe modify if you press tab again it comes out of it then you can see the Weird wireframe. I mean, this could be done for a waste paper bin. Um, I like to add a bit of thickness. It, say, if you that's one of them, you could have. If you add a subdivision modifier on, and that's look all circular and nice and cool looking. Um, if we use this one. If we add a bevel modifier, but put it before the subdivision. Like if we add some segment. You get another shape, like a smoother version of this shape. I'm not sure what, yeah, this shape doesn't go, go straight for that one, right? but, but yeah, so that's uh, one way. As I said, you can do more cuts, um, more loop cuts, and it will have a different result if I just like slap some in here now, as you can see when I come out of here. From pattern, you can do some crazy patterns with it. Another one I like to do, um, like I showed you a second ago, making like a fence. Say we add in a plane, I'm just going to rotate it put it that way. Uh, let's say we add five, maybe five again. Come on, <laughs> we'll have a look now. If we add and subdivide this as well. Um, we get this kind of look. Instead of using the wireframe, we're going to try something different. So first of all, we're going to um, change this segment up here to individual origins. We're going to press Alt E and extrude extrude individual faces, but then we're going to cancel it with a right click straight away. We're going to scale in with S, so we're in, it's scaling in those individual faces to however you want, something like that maybe. And then we're just going to press X and delete faces. So we've got this pattern already to use, right? So now we're just gonna, for argument's sake, we're gonna take these ones and these ones. We're gonna press Shift D and duplicate it. Put it over here. We'll press P on the keyboard and press Selection. So this is a new selection. So we can use this now. Um, you know, we could use more of it, but I just like to use. It. There's probably a quick way of getting these. Uh, this is my way anyway. Um, we can add an array modifier now. So you can add lots. Keep adding them in. Make sure you've um, applied all transformations, and then we can add another array. But change the factor instead of the x, we can put it on the z. We can add in a couple of them. See, we're already building that fence we had a second ago, but it's very, very thin. Like it's just one plane. So we need to add a solidify modifier on it. Lidify, modify, um, and extrude it out a bit to give it a bit of thickness. Go, something like that anyway. Uh, and we want to add some nice look to it, so we're going to add a bevel. I'll show you what happens now. See, if you originally add a bevel and it looks like this mess, then there's likely it does not like it. You can play around with these, but Best way is right. We're gonna go into edit mode. We're gonna we're gonna delete this a second. We're going to edit mode. So we only have to edit this original shape, not all this the rest of it. Just this original shape because we're using an array modifier. We're going to edge selection and we'll click these edges along here. We can just about oh not that one, just the ones on the outside. And what we want to do is um we want to add. A mean bevel weight of one. So they should all get these blue lines. That's what we want to add. Uh, 
Uh, there might be another way of doing it. I can't remember how to add it, but yeah, you can just press press N on your keyboard under the item section. Just press one on the the mean bevel weight. Now we can add a bevel modifier. And yes, it looks messed up, but if we change this segment to weight, oh, it looks so much nicer. You've got this look going on. Uh, we can increase the segments. So it looks a bit nicer as well. Hit it smooth. Play around with this. Um, we're doing a few more segments. What do we want? Maybe that's quite nice. And as I said, you can just keep adding these array modifiers if you want to keep going that way or up. Bigger fence. It's really nice. And then just, as I said, just shift, add some cubes. Uh, let's stick it in the middle. This is really <laughs> quick and sloppy. That's just to show you how quick you can knock up a fence. It just looks nice. Okay, there's other ways you can use it, but. It, it 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 has a nice result, and then you can sculpt on it or what have you. But it's just a quick way of uh, doing these funky meshes. You can even do it with like the UV sphere. Literally just edge and subdivide, and then just slap on the wire for it. Play around with it. Play around with the settings. Add some sub some division. If you find out anything, any other cool stuff, you can let me know. Um, but yeah, it's a quick way of making make fences, different wireframe meshes, like I said, waste paper bins, washing baskets, whatever you want. And if you liked how the other one looked of my picture, all I did was add some cavity and shadow. Doesn't want to do it. Come on, there we go. I put a map cap on. Like this, just to make it look cool and funky. But yeah, if you guys uh, like that video, please uh, subscribe to the channel, thumbs up the video, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.